hello 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 good evening welcome to dan rock's rock box hope that we are all well um many solstice blessings to you all um hope we've all had a good day whether we're celebrating it today or whether we're celebrating it tomorrow um hope we're all having a good weekend um hi belinda hi dawn hi sarah so um before we move on to um tonight's special guest we just want to come together as regulars as locals and just um connect with our connections that we've been doing this week this is our last day of connecting tomorrow's our day off so if we want to do that i've been super happy today because my amazing husband managed to untangle a huge huge spaghetti junction of a knot in my in my knitting so i've not been able to do this for a week um i have patience to knit but i have no patience to do knots um and i noticed a mistake about six rows down last week so i i had the patience to unpick and then to thread the needles back through the stitches without losing any but during that time the thread that i'd unpicked managed to get itself all tangled up and it was a mess so i'm back to doing my project so it's great love it hey carolyn connection to amethyst journeyed over forests arriving at stonehenge wow brilliant sat around a fire drumming with my family from a past life the sun appeared on the horizon i lifted up into the universe and spent time with my guardian angel that's amazing um and what a brilliant um connection to have for um the solstice um actually visualizing stonehenge and the sun coming up so beautiful beautiful connection there thank you so much i can see that our lovely guest has tuned in she has arrived she's in the waiting room with biggles so as soon as we are done with the connections i will bring the lovely lady on okay hi angela happy solstice carolyn i am a nitwit i am i am um but yeah it's took him it's took him a week um uh but he finally got it all unraveled i did start another project whilst he was dealing with that i got my crochet hook out and i was crocheting a scarf ready for winter but um yeah i, I it's, i've mainly crocheted this year all of my projects have been crocheted um and this was the only project which i started two weeks ago this is my only project that i started two weeks ago um that i knitted and i am i am a knitter at heart i love i love two needles um so yes so just give a couple more minutes for anyone who is typing up their connections I don't know if I've moved. I feel quite, I look quite big in the camera. I haven't got my yoga seat. Let's try that. Might be a bit. Hey, Karen. Hope you're well, sweetheart. I must, we must connect again. Um, the last video chat, I couldn't make it, but yes let's connect i am missing my spiritual guys i'm missing my spiritual people right lucy oh i was with a white dragon 
and to start i couldn't make out if we were in the air or water i treat them both the same the dragon was white and playful the way it moved seemed like it was swimming towards me i touched his skin and felt immediate connection we started to go towards an ancient city but when i realized we were underwater i lost the connection oh and that's because you've got a um you've got your fear of water oh um next time next time just don't even acknowledge that you're in the water um i always say when i connect to my guide the humpback whale we never connect in the water we're always up in orbit we're looking around the earth um i treat both the same water and space there you know we 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 spent more time in space than we have in our own oceans so they're all the so yeah um next time if it is in water just think it's space just think it's space you know or shake that fear it's perhaps why it's coming to you um it wants to show you and it might be a past life reason why you've got the fear um you might need to have a little chat with um the stanley of the hillary there might be something there that needs sorting oh and that was still i like you was with wasn't it lucy sarah how the devil are you wednesday night when i was working with my child right i saw the man in the brown suit in the tunnel again and he was still there were bright beams of light going up from the tunnel then it became more personal i saw lots of images and clips from my grandparents past right back to childhood i realized it was my nan trying to connect to me it was incredibly emotional i became very upset but i was also glad of the connection at the same time i felt that my work with child right oh i think so what a beautiful connection and yeah i think child right has done that and it was interesting because to be at the beginning of the week you connected to child right without having it in the physical so it makes sense that somebody was trying to get through to you via that hence why you were in a completely different room and you could still tap in and draw on the energy of charite um, because there was a person there aiding the um, energy perfect sir thank you so much oh shardy what flute are you playing i'm learning to play the uh, native american flute with cloud song and um, i would love to uh, if, if it is um one of those sort of flutes let's get together bring it when you come in the garden um we do do social distance pickups for our crystals for anyone who is local we do have a big garden so um we have a table over one end table over the other um but yeah we could we could get your flute on you love our crystal mm, i love them all oh bless you hillary and i hope you've had a, a lovely birthday yeah yeah lucy well just up above hillary's dropped a comment to say that she's happy to help um i think you two need to um connect and see what is behind that um definitely because if it's stopping you from connecting um if you're not going to get past that then the dragon's not going to come forward again and the crystal's not going to do that anymore and um, you do find that if the crystals are showing you something and you're like oh yeah well, I'll, I'll do that another time let's bring on something else it won't it will stop going because you're not dealing with that situation they want you to deal with that first and that's and that's um and that's how you move on it's you know um crystals work like chapters you don't read the last chapter of the book you have to read them all to get the full story and that's like the crystals you have to work on them chapter by chapter and go through um 
Carolyn, finished setting up my new healing room, so I connected to quite a few of my crystals, trying to find a space for them. Beautiful. And what a good way to do that. Connect with them, ask where they want to go, sit with where they are, and see if they're happy where they are. Please show me some pictures. I would love to see your healing room, if that's allowed. I know some people don't have any technology in their healing room. So, same. Brilliant. I heard you are, yes. Let's, what key is yours? And the friend coming is Sharon. You might know her as Lizzie Rose. Oh, mine's heart chakra. Mine's um, in the tone of F, the heart chakra mine is. Um, I know a Sharon, Sharon, um, but I don't know a Lizzie Rose. I know a Sharon who plays the flute. She is very good. Um, she just put a video with one of the drones. Um, so yeah that might be that uh, exactly hillary exactly i oh, know the new bunny the new bunny uh, she will be coming on board here on monday night for our development monday so i'll be bringing the spheres again to the table and we'll have siren on here as well i'll introduce her to the big wide world at the moment she's just settling in which is an absolute diamond She's good. Okay, so amazing connections. Have a good day off tomorrow. Okay, but then on um, Monday when we get together, for those of you who haven't yet managed to um, do your connections, we'll have a summary of this week, and then we'll go into the new week of connections. So if we're working up the chakras, we'll be going to the crown um or if you are just playing if you're going rogue and picking any crystal that is drawn to you do it that way yes that's Sharon. oh she's incredibly talented i love her yes i do know her send her my love when she comes around tonight it'd be nice to hook up with her too and we can have a little a little doo -doo 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 -doo. brilliant an e and an a um so c d e so e is the solar plexus f is the heart g is the throat and then a so third eye and then b is the crown so third eye and solar plexus beautiful nice right we've kept her waiting so um this is obviously the reason so many people are on board because we would love to see the amazing the amazing work that this lady does um we first met her at hornsbury mill um this early on this year and she became part of the group she was funny she was amazing and she fitted right in so it only felt right that you know we test her nerves by putting her on the live feed so everybody if we are sitting comfortably and we are relaxed then please give a warm welcome to this lovely amazing lady i welcome you all to julie Oh, you need to unmute yourself, Julie. <laughs> we could do sign. Are we on? Yay! Yes. Hello. Hello. Happy solstice. Happy solstice to you, beautiful. And to patrick as well hope you're having an amazing weekend yeah, sorry to me. um interrupt your weekend for asking you to do this but uh, thank you so much all good then okay so for those people out there um who don't know what 
you who you are if you could just give us a little bit of a background of your spiritual path how you came about doing what it is you do oh so basically as a child i've always been creative it's all i've ever known is to do is being creative no matter what it's been um also drawn to nature very much so and that's where i gather all my inspiration you know through all my work is nature beautiful beautiful and so and nature is very much a part of what you create um the first thing i want to get my hands on and to talk about are these amazing smudge sticks that you create um i think is that one that you were holding when we were the border the title page was that a smudge stick yeah, that you were holding there yes indeed i've got one here in front of you all see it there look i bring it back into the camera there i mean that's going to be a giveaway guys is that going to be a gift away yeah that one is indeed yes wow this. i mean they are they are so beautiful and i'm gutted that we walked away from hornsbury mill without one of them um so we do need to come over and grab a few i mean these are the pictures now that you've sent over to show to people so without giving away the julie secrets what Talk us through like what Judy does um, to create these amazing bundles. Well, basically I use um, the general, like the, the um, same herbs for every bundle that I use. Um, and they can be used for like specific, like healing, abundance, love, um, cleansing, that all the herbs and the flowers will, the intention is put in will be for every one of those spectrum of, of uh, elements. So, um, you know, and if I feel that um, there's anything around, even if it's picking them while out and about, that I feel I have to put in there, you know, that intention goes to each and every one. And if mm. someone wants something specific, then I would obviously put their herbs and flowers in specifically for them, even flowers or adornments that are put on there, whether it be uh, feathers or crystals or anything basically i mean and and I, I, I can't i can't get my head around that <laughs> people should burn these like you would do a normal um, california sage stick <laughs> no a lot of people don't burn them and say they're too beautiful to burn them they just hang them but that's fine you're still going to yep. get the energy and attention that i put into each and every one just by putting them in a special place. Absolutely. I know when I was talking to Hillary, I think it was the group Zoom meeting when I had you, Elaine, and um, Hillary all on board. And Hillary said that she still got one that she got from you at Christmas. And it still smells beautiful. I mean, yes. there's, no, there's no way I could put a naked flame to one of those um they are beautiful um oh. but i love i love these because during the lockdown um period and by doing um these amazing shows having guests on it's really nice to bring in the uk and really work with what the uk is giving us what mother earth on this part of the world is providing for us to use so because i know at the moment there is a lot of us going and importing from america and getting the palo santo or the california white sage which is really quite damaging the supply over there yeah. so i love that there are people like you here making these amazing english um, uk products yeah, indeed. 
Right. Yeah, I dry, I dry all my herbs out and flowers myself. Either grown or they're locally sourced. So, you know, there's nothing imported, etc. And yeah. So if, if you live near Julie and you found your roses have gone from your bush, <laughs> they're drying in their kitchen. <laughs> That'd be me then. <laughs> I tell you what, you could happily come round ours and pick some herbs from our garden. But it's nice and it's really good to give um to give people that option of really um finding somebody who does these. You pick all the flowers and the herbs your, yourself, you dry them all. And then you put them in these lovely bundles, either intuitively how you work or customed to how the customer would like them to be bundled up. Yes, indeed. And so that one that you've got, that's a gift away. Is that going on your Facebook page? Yes, it will be, yeah. So what would people need to do to... Um, being a chance of that gift away well just basically like like the post share it and comment below the post okay and just in the purple banner here guys um we've just put up the um facebook page for julie where that um bundle can we just have another close look of that bundle can we just drop the pictures and just let julie show off the bundle that she's got in her hand. Brilliant. Okay, good. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think I might even have some comments on that. <laughs> Get on. <laughs> so, um, and that's not the only thing that you like to make with natural products, with nature, as you said at the beginning, you've always been into nature. You do your corn dolls. Yeah, that's right. So could you just explain um, what is a corn doll? What do you, how do you make one into existence? I said that the corn dolls that go way back, way, way back thousands of uh, hundreds of years um and you know it, it was like the last corn that was gathered from a harvest in order to bring abundance and good luck for the next harvest into the home um and then i incorporate that into the obviously i kind of um make more like how do i put it um I put more, the intention each doll whether it be like i say abundance or you know, prosperity or healing even. And I call that, mm -hmm. that, that into the doll as well when I'm creating them. Um, you know, anyone can have them custom made there again or it's intuitively made, you know, anytime oh. anyone's asked me to make any. Beautiful. So you keep the tradition going of what they represented for keeping the harvest healthy and going from one season to the next. But then you can also work intuitively by bringing in anything else that you feel is needed um That's or right. again another custom made for whatever the customer customer would like they are absolutely amazing thank you they are so beautiful and is there a specific place to um, place a corn doll is there anywhere specifically you need to place it or is it just down to intuition it's basically down to intuition where you want to place uh, the corn doll you know it could be anywhere in your home or even outside the home mm -hmm. just where you feel it's right for you at the time amazing how long would one of those take to make say you know as a simple corn doll oh crumbs um i couldn't really say how long it takes because they're all different you see <laughs> depending on how much work you're putting into it more adornments on there or whatever you know you can't really sit, put a, 
a time scale on how much they, you know, how long they would take as such. Sure. Sure, absolutely. And I bet, are you one of those that, um, do you look at the corn dial and go, actually, you need a little bit more of this? Or, yeah. actually, <laughs> let me put this on. Let me put that on. Um, yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. You need to turn around and go, that's enough. <laughs> so it's five minutes and you go back and it's like, right, yeah, I need to put a little bit more over here. And it goes with anything I make, really. Do you know what I mean? You go back to it and it's like, yeah. Oh. Oh, I could imagine. I could imagine if I was going to do a smudge stick, say, I'd perhaps have the intention of it being like a little bundle, but then I'll be like, "Oh, add some of this and add some of that," and before I know it, it'll be like, it'll be like a, a bale of hay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> full on, you know. I'll be carrying it around with me. People think I'm getting married. <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's endless, really. You can just like I say, you just keep adding whatever you feel that's right. Basically, at the end of the day, it's whatever you feel at times right. Yeah, and I suppose really these would be really quite nice if people have got altars. Um, no doubt you could perhaps do a solstice. You could do equinoxes. You could do corn dolls to represent the sabbats. Yes, indeed. Yeah, for hand fast in all celebrations, you know, they can be used for. Many yeah, I was just about to say actually, when we were talking about the bouquet, it would be nice to have a corn doll in the bouquet. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely, absolutely. Just to let anybody know, if you've got any questions for Julie on the smudge sticks or the corn dolls, please um, just pop them up. And if Biggles sees one, he will flash it up and we will get it answered for you. Okay. Um, so, yep, I see that there is some artwork behind you. Yes. And some people may know that um, you do share some of your time with the lovely Patrick Gamble, but he's not the only artist in this relationship. You are also an artist in yourself. Indeed. So how, how did this come about? When did you get into being in the art? I mean, You've had the smudge sticks, you've had the corn dolls, and then where did it come about for the art to come in? I've always, always drawn as a child. I've always, I say, been creative. Um, you know, that was just, just me. It's me. Um, and, you know, I've, I've just carried it on through the years. I've gone off on other things that are still there, creative, but came back to what I've always loved and drawn to. That is amazing. So behind you, is that a Medusa? <laughs> no, it's Gaia, actually. Oh, no, I'm pointing the wrong direction. It's that way. <laughs> it's oh, this sorry. one. It's Gaia. Do, you forg do you forgive me because I am looking at a small screen, so all <laughs> I can see is green coming from out of the head, and I automatically thought, Medusa, let's go for Medusa. <laughs> no, Daniel, ask what the painting is first. Yeah, this, <laughs> this hey, is... Medusa could have been Gaia. Yeah, it's Gaia, yes. And then, and then I can see the next one next to you is the unicorn. Yes. And do you... Is this something for a hobby, or do you also sell these? No, I also sell them. I take commissions, whether it be, like I say, anything that's mystical, magical, portraits, animal portraits, um, commission work where, where anyone wants anything specifically done in a, in a way that they want. You know, that's, that's what I do. Absolutely. So we've got the beautiful unicorn up at the moment. 
Um, Hilary Stanley has asked, has asked, can we have a look at Gaia? <laughs> so I could personally say, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to keep going in the wrong direction? Do you want me to take up the stand? Yeah. Absolutely. If that's okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep going in the direction. There we go. I don't know if, um, whether you'll see or not with the light. The light's not so great. I'll bring it back a bit. Oh, beautiful. Can you, no, you can't see it very well. Yeah, no, it's picking it up. Can you, can you see it holding now? The world. I'm just, yes, yeah, holding the world, yes. I'm just seeing the green. No, I, I, can, see, you... I, can, see the, I can see the planet. That is beautiful. Thank you. So, yeah, so not even do you just dabble into the mystics, but you do pet portraits as well. Yes, I do. Look at, look at these. The eyes on the, the blue eyes on this cat is stunning. Thank you. So was this a commission or are these family pets? No, they're actually commissions. That they are beautiful. Thank you. Oh, Bear, shall we, shall we go to Judy with our two rabbits and five cats? Do you reckon, that, do you reckon we could get a family portrait of them all? <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon they all sit still? Look at these. Wow. Wow. I mean, you know, hold on, hold on, um, Patrick, there may be some competition your way. <laughs> that is, they are stunning. Cheers, Dan. And again, um, how would something like this come about? Do you need to see the physical pet or is it done through photos? If someone just gives me a clear head and shoulder shot of um, their pet, then that's the sound I work from that. Really? Yes. That's incredible. Yeah, that's all I need. That you, that you can do that just from a photo. Yes. Wow. Wowzers. Oh, so we don't have to bring five cats, two rabbits to you. We just. We no, just... not at all. Just a photo, do. <laughs> You end up looking like Doctor Doolittle. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And I mean, for me, I'm there, you know, I think Adam's sitting upstairs getting a little bit worried because obviously there is Kestrel that I'm quite partial to. Fox is very much I'm loving. And I can't mention the humpback whale because um yeah. But, yes, yes, I think I might be in touch. I think you are going to be my new best friend. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's going to be a lot of um, commissions coming your way throughout next year. Absolutely. Lovely. And, you know, I mean, if I was just to be able to create one of your smudge sticks, I would be pleasantly surprised and be like hmm, that's my gift i can make a lovely bundle of smudge sticks no you can also make these corn dolls which for somebody just to make would be a good good enough gift and to stop there then you can do arts you can paint um what what um what do you like painting with Oh, I use yeah. um, a mixed media, but I usually use like watercolor pencils and such, um, water, and watercolor paints. So um, yeah, just stick to really that, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I feel comfortable with the portraits. 
And for somebody to be able to just do that would be enough. But no, you can also do biography. <laughs> I mean, Judy, where does it stop? Seriously, girl. <laughs> So, um, is this a new thing, biography? Yeah, well, if I just start bringing that in, I've always wanted <gasps> to do it. I've not <laughs> seen that box before. <laughs> I have not seen... I purposely didn't look at the pictures that you sent me. Oh, I you did? Got, no, Adam got them. Um, and then, because I, like be, I, like, I like to be surprised. I don't want anything to be spoiled. So I've, I've seen the wolf before, um, and that's what inspired me to ask you for a fox and a humpback. That fox. I love that fox. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Hillary is also asked, Drawings of people's animal totems slash power animals. Could you do a multi-image without photos? A multi-image without what, uh, what? Working intuitively, as it were. I. I think so. Yes. Oh, do you know, I can, I can just imagine you and Patrick now at events and, you know, both canvases at the go and all these animals are just rolling out of the stalls. What an amazing... I, I love that fox. Do you, um, do you get the wood in yourself? Yeah, no, I do. I do get the wood in myself, yes. Nice. So I, I'm, I'm putting you on the spot here. Do you know what wood the fox is on? No. <laughs> you put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> that on, is fine. That is fine. But, but you, you source the wood in um, and then you... So, so you must, do you saw it in with this? Do you saw it up? Oh, no, you can't. Yeah, saw it up. Um, but I, I do, I get locally done. And also I do um, cut up the wood myself as well. Yes. Oh, my God. You're just so, so multidimensionally talented. Um, absolutely brilliant. And I take it you must draw these on first. Yeah, I'll put an impression on there, an image uh, to work upon, yeah. yeah, and then they're on and then start playing with it, as it were, and just working it into the wood. Mm. Yeah. Yes, Hillary, Hillary's just um, come back to say yes from a list of creatures and putting them together. No, but... So if somebody gave you a list of creatures... Would you then be able to sit there and then put them all together on a picture? Say that again. Sorry, Dan, didn't quite catch that. That's right, sweetheart. So um, what Hedda was asking um, was if, if someone gave you a list of creatures, would yes. you then be able to put those creatures and just draw them onto um, a canvas? Yeah, definitely. Mm. Oh my word, oh my word. <laughs> I'm going to, um, I am going to be tackling, um, oh look at this. Look at that hair. And he, he looks rather, um, it reminds me very much of Befuddled. <laughs> He's got character, he? He has got character. I love that. But even the um, the intricateness of the berries, 
the moon. You're mind blowing, Julie. You are. We need. We need to have a good, um, a good full day of talking about this sort of thing. Yeah, nice one. It's absolutely so. Yeah, I do uh, because going back to the fox and the wolf, there are totem animals that people wear around the neck. Have you got one there? Have you got one around your neck? Oh no, this one was just. Um, this is a, a talisman. This one here, but that was made for me. That one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. And again, people could go over to your Facebook page and they can purchase or inquire about what, you know, you can make on a bit of wood. Or, I mean, something, because the hair, that looks like it's on a bigger piece. I, yes, it is. It's about yay big. Yeah, I, I don't want to say a chopping board because I don't <laughs> want people to use pieces, but kind of like, a, a, a bread board, so you put a bread, a bit of bread on, yeah. a loaf yeah. of bread on. That size, yeah. Mm. So if anyone's got bits of wood lying around <laughs> and thought, hmm, that might look nice on it, absolutely beautiful, beautiful. But then there's also, you've got all this creative, but there's a bit of science to you as well because you are a nutritionist, yeah? Yeah, trained in nutrition and clinical, clinical herbalist as well. So could you just give us a little bit of background between both of those? Well, it ties in really, basically nature and the way you're meant to, like say, treat your body and what you put into it is how obviously your body responds um, you know, and eating more of a natural, clean diet will, like I say, your body, body benefits tenfold from it. That's, and it all um, it comes down to, see, I say, your immune system, keeping it boosted, etc. And eating clean, eating clean recipes, taking natural supplements, etc., etc. And, and so this is something that you've trained in. Yes. And you can help people with this. So anybody that's got anything going on, you're able to advise them. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I mean, that's the reason why I went into um, training into um, these areas, because I want to help people, help people um, with their health, achieve their, their goals. That's amazing. And oh, these arrive today they smell so amazing um these so are these actually so are these amazingly good for me oh yes indeed <laughs> yeah. yeah full of antioxidants vitamins they're clean nothing processed just as they are oh my god um if anyone's got any questions about um nutrients or anything like that please um ask some questions because i might want to take a little bite of this cookie um and therefore i might not be able to talk i mean i had i had one this morning um it's, it's for me it's the smell i mean we got them out of the box and th thank you so much for sending us and I think this one has got Pat's name on it, so I'm <laughs> going to enjoy. I'm going to enjoy eating this one because, um, yeah, we've got two of his, haven't we? Yes. <laughs> so he's left like Cheers, three. Pat. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, I've got him out of the box, and the smell, and I mean. Adam knows what I'm like around chocolate. It's like, it's gone. And I was yeah. being so good, so good. And then I said to him, I was like, I'm, I can smell them. I have to try them. 
And I'm glad I did, because with me trying them, even though we perhaps should have been able to see on the outside, they contain nuts, and Adam doesn't like nuts. So not only have I got Pat's share, I've also got <laughs> Adam's share as well. So I'm well away with these. And when I, when I ate one, normally if I open a pack of biscuits, I eat one and I eat them all. Whereas when I ate one of these, I felt full. Well, they're nutrient dense, they're a meal within themselves. That's why and I created them like that because it's like a meal replacement, basically. Oh, Patrick, Patrick is watching. Enjoy, Dan. Yes, that's mine you're eating. <laughs> Oh, Patrick, it's intense. So, yeah, because it really made me think of um, the Lord of the Rings. It really made me chuckle because um, when they went to the elves and they gave them that lamis bread, where yeah. like a little crumb is meant to fill um, a human for a day, and the hobbits ate about six of these. That's what I felt like when I ate one of those. I just felt, I felt satisfied. I it felt, is. It, it, literally, it was, and I just sat there thinking, is this good? Is this something that I can eat? And what, would one a day, four a day? Yeah, one or two a day, then meal <laughs> The meal replacements, you see? They got the nutrients in there. Do you know what I mean? There's no nasties in there, there's no refined sugars, it's all natural, completely natural. And you've got all the antioxidants, cacao, you've got chia seeds in there, Brazil nuts, which is selenium. It's just everything's good in there. Ginger, anti inflammatory. Yeah. I could go on. Go on. <laughs> Yeah, they're actually, like I say, they will, they're good for, like I say, your phones, everything in your body, collagen, yeah, they've got it in there. Mm. So, if you're, like I say, if you're on the run, if you're, like, going here, there, and everywhere, they're, they're just great to grab, they're great to have on hand, definitely. And you've just got nothing in there that's going to be, you know, detrimental to your body. It's going to benefit, your body's going to benefit from it in every way. Oh, they're benefiting <laughs> me. I feel like I've lost two stone already. <laughs> <laughs> and the ginger is just heaven. Um, Sarah says, do you sell those as well, Julie? I can do, yes. Yes, I can do. Because you did, you did start off doing your bars and stocking shops with your bars. That's indeed, yeah, I did, yeah. It was uh, Mackenzie's Magic Macca bars. Um, I did that many moons ago, yeah, and I was stocking, like, what was Totnes, Staverton, Riverford, online. Yeah, so I did start off doing that, and obviously then, obviously, the art took back over again. So, yeah, no, I can, I can still do that. No problem. Oh, I tell you. You guys, oh, the fact that these are good. Oh my word, fox! And you've got a picture of a fox. I want to be your new best friend. Um, <laughs> so fox there says, "Sorry, screen froze for a while." Are they gluten free and are they yeah. vegan? Yes. They're gluten free and vegan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they are indeed. <laughs> mm. Yeah, completely gluten-free and vegan. Carry on talking. All right, okay, yeah. So obviously, <laughs> I 
obviously the main ingredients is like it's vegan protein that goes in there and you've got your almonds and you've got chia seeds natural sweetener coconut oil etc rah, 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 i've added in it it's all gluten-free all no, nice stuff in there you're not going to get anything nasty in there antioxidants brimming with it serotonin I really, the wish, <laughs> I really wish i could share this with you guys i feel like a dawn french moment where they're not <laughs> julie's they're mine <laughs> they are so good julie it is. absolutely Thank and you. to know that what i've just put in my mouth is <laughs> <laughs> because I was going to say I have had some dirty stuff in my mouth, but <laughs> but to know that that is just so clean, so good, and the fact that I'm talk I'm talking to the person that's put that together, it's just like yes, you know, and I mean. No wonder Pat is a smiling man. <laughs> I mean, you must be feeding these to him like, there we go, there we go. And you yeah. must be like, so what are you making today? I think you need to tech, you know, yeah. let me just food test that one. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, because yeah, Patrick, yeah, Patrick's just um, put up and they are really funny. And guys, they are. I mean, I am. I am someone who loves their food. I, I eat crazy portions. And all I had this morning was a bowl of cereal. I had one of these, and seriously, I mean, I think it was about a couple of hours before I had one of these in between my bowl of cereal. I had one that I could have quite happily have gone on until now. To have had another one as soon as i ate one i felt full and no hobby is trying to say that there's no dinner for me tonight the key is actually eating little and often and then mm -hmm. say the the, the the cookies are like a meal replacement do you know what i mean and it's balancing your blood sugar it's beautiful it's beautiful and yeah i totally get that and i've never really experienced that full that kind of like satisfied you know it's like when i've had a meal i'm then opening up my dessert stomach and thinking well i could manage to sleep but here i just had everything in one and i was just like i'm actually content i actually feel good with those so I mean that is amazing so if anyone's got any um nutritional um thing going on and if they need any advice on that i would really recommend the skill i'm getting the ginger coming out now and i'm just like <laughs> <laughs> so brilliant anything else you want to discuss anything else you want to share with us at all julie oh it's basically the website anyone... coming up. yes yeah the website if anyone would like to go over to my website you you see like a, a array of all the things that i make and create on there or if you want to check out my facebook page your mackenzie's magical grove you'll see what i think on there that can create anything what's anything specific then just contact me i'd be very happy to make it for you absolutely um fox y jansen she says can you send her some with her pendant yes indeed, um, yeah, indeed. Is she, 
I've got a funny feeling. Is she having a fox pendant? Yes. The one There's you saw. A... Is, that the, is that the one? Yes. Yeah, that's the one. Fox. What a lucky, lucky. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. And I, I feel like I want to be this person's best friend because they've the first name's a fox they've got a picture of a fox and i i just love working with fox energy so um yeah i feel like we've got a good connection there without even knowing this person um if they're a friend of a fox they're a friend of mine so yeah please do guys if you've got any questions now please is the time to ask this amazing um creative lady she has Come on, bless her, and has shared so many of her gifts. And I'm, I'm sure that there is, oh, there is, because there's the jewellery wrapping that you do as well. Yeah, yeah, indeed. The, the list goes on. Yeah, if anyone <laughs> likes, if they wanted to have their special stone wrapped, um, then I say I do all that as well. I have many things that I would like to wrap. Many things. This is this is where we are going to get into trouble, Julie. This is where there is going to be there's going to be a blockade, a wall between Exeter and Plymouth to stop me from <laughs> getting to you and being like, "Can you just do this? Can you just do that?" And yeah. That's all good. So, it will be. It's all about helping each other out. That's so it. It's not it's that... it. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, do you have stones yourself that you wrap or do you just take on other people's stones and wrap them? I do have my own stones, which I wrap intuitively and then let's say if people come to me with a specific stone they want wrapped in a certain way then i'll do that as well i wonder i wonder what this would look like what would that look like wrapped <laughs> i could wet this could Indeed. be my workshop this could be my workshop <laughs> statement piece you know yes I know my crystals. This says it all. No. I'd hate to see the size of the chain that you'd have to put on that. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> like, it's like the Titanic chain of the anchor. Like, <laughs> okay. I don't. Has anybody got anything to ask? Wishing to share? I think they're perhaps all going to go over to your Facebook page and be like, I want 72 cookies. I want this pendant. I want my hat drawn and I want my corn doll to look like my mother in law. So on solstice, I can burn it. That's all good. If my mother-in-law is watching this, that was not for you. I forgot I actually had a mother-in-law then for a minute. Oh. I called her mum. So, yes, <laughs> that wasn't for you. Um, no, I don't, I'm not going to be making corn dolls for family members. <laughs> no. Thank you so much for giving a part of your Saturday evening. Um, yeah, I know time is precious with you guys. I know Patrick has always got things to do. And pff, do you ever sleep with the things that you do? <laughs> um, and yeah, I liked this one to be short and sweet because I know it's a big day today. It's the solstice. I yeah. know that there are things that we are all going off and doing um i myself are going to join a solstice meditation with um heaven and earth with my lovely crystal teacher do you have any plans for the solstice just chilling and just being this evening 
Absolutely. That sounds... It sounds when you've got that time to stop, Julie, I would say put them feet up or put your hands up. Yes. <laughs> In your case, I think it's going to be, you need some little arm cushions and just, uh, just give them a rest. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, sweetheart. If everybody is happy with that i am happy to let this beautiful woman go back down give my absolute regards and love to um patrick um i hope you guys have a amazing weekend um and keep doing what you're doing because it's so nice to see the smiles and just the the love and the light that that is coming out of you guys um it, it's really really lovely to see um so Cheers. keep doing that all right sweetheart thank you thank yes, you take it easy you guys have a wonderful evening and you i'll drop you down um and you can sign yourself out and then um, I'll just tie up the group of what's going on next week. All right, sweetheart. But okay. love to you. Love and blessings. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, how amazing and how talented she is such a lovely person like i said we only met her the once but she really stole our hearts i really really love um julie and somebody who is that creative and talented needs there so honestly if you've got any um if you're interested in any of those things don't forget she's doing the gift away for um that smudge stick so please go over to her facebook page um, give it a like, give the page a like, um, and be in chance of um, winning that smudge stick. Um, what is coming up on Dan Rocks um, next week? So tomorrow is our day off, um, although it won't be because we've still got to do all the invoicing because we're still busy today sorting out other bits and bobs and other orders for people. So tomorrow is our invoice day, so please keep an eye out for those. Uh, Monday night is our development night. So if everybody is okay with what I did last Monday, which getting the spheres out and getting people to pick colours. I know if Shardy is still here, I didn't get round to doing yours. Um, if you come on Monday, I make sure that you are there. I tried to do it without the person and it wasn't right. I need the person to be online. So I know I missed you out. So please, if you're still on, come on Monday and I'll do one then. Tuesday will be our crystal topic, which I think we will be looking at self-confidence. So crystals that are going to help with your self-confidence. Wednesday, we've got the beautiful Eva coming on. Um, somebody who I've been searching for for quite a while since we were doing these um, readings she's going to be coming on talking about tea leaf reading and maybe giving us a demo um, and if we've got time we'll look into the art of palmistry and also um, scrying with a crystal ball but if not we can just do the tea leaves and I can bring her back on separate occasions for the other two and then Thursday is our um, other crystal um topic don't know what that's going to be yet so any suggestions on what we can do what we could talk about on thursday i would be greatly um, appreciative of any um, advice what we could talk about on thursday because obviously this week we were busy sending out healing doing healing grids and then thursday we were doing the altar grids um so this week we've got a bit of a chilled week um, so Tuesday and Thursday, we're going to be talking about crystals and how they can help us. So Tuesday is self-confidence. 
Thursday, I need some suggestions, guys. And then Friday is our um, Friday market, which is not just about buy, buy, sell, sell, buy, sell, have this, have this. We don't put crystals in your face. We don't force you to um, buy. Thursday is life after lockdown. Of course it is. I'll be talking about another one of our workshops that we do outside of lockdown. The first one we did was um, my Sharka workshops. And then Thursday, we'll be doing another one. So, yeah, so Friday, it's not in your face buying and selling of crystals. It's, it's a little bit laid back. It's always fun. It's always fun. And we go around the world. Um, we go on a little airplane and we take you to the countries where you can find these beautiful crystals. So if anything, we want it to be more educational than just buying and selling the crystals. And then Saturday, we have the lovely Elaine Fenton coming on here to talk about to talk about her life in spiritual uh, on her spiritual path and about the amazing shows that she puts on. Um, we can't have her on without talking about the healing weekend. And this year we've got the virtual online healing weekend. So we'll talk about that as well. Someone might be on there. And a few people who are talking, commenting on here, might be part of that um, four-day workshops. So um, a nice fun-packed week. I will type it up tomorrow and put the list up so people know what they want to come on board for and what to give a clear miss. Um, but, yeah, thank you for welcoming Julie into the Dan Rocks family. Uh, please check out her page. Give us some love. Give us some support. Um, even if you don't think it's for you, but you've got other people, give it a share. You know, sharing is caring. These are not for sharing. No. But Facebook business pages are for sharing. So just give it a little share. Five seconds, but it could draw somebody into what that person does and gives a little bit of energy their way so thank you so much guys for being with us enjoy the rest of your solstice however you intend to plan it may it be full of joy full of strength and may it be a blessing to you all if any of you are going on to heaven and earth for their um, solar eclipse solstice uh, meditation that's happening tonight i will see you there i'm going over for that uh, but whatever you're doing, do it with love. See you all later. See you Monday. Bye.